All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead and start creating the clouds for a whole shot here. Now we're going to use a couple of different techniques. We're going to create a hero cloud, an overall atmosphere, and also some clouds and kind of moisture over the actual volcano itself. So first of all, I'm going to go into our mountain. Just to make things faster in the viewport and everything, I'm just going to view the actual cache. That's going to speed things up a little bit. And let's situate our camera. Maybe something around here. All right, so first thing I want to do is create a box. And let's just call the box atmosphere. Let's dive in. And now for the box, I want to make this super big. I want to encompass our entire shot here. So maybe 200, 350. Sorry, 2000. This is going to be our atmosphere here. So let's kind of drag this up to make sure it's above the ocean there. And we just want to place it in the middle of where we're going to, where the camera's going to be here. All right, so now that we have our box done, let's go ahead and convert this. I want to throw down an ISO offset. And now this is going to convert this into a volume here. So you can see how we've got a really low resolution volume. So for one, let's turn up the sampling divisions, something like 200. So that's going to give us more resolution. So now you see the ISO offset, we're creating a fog volume. And if we middle mouse click on it, you can see here that we've created this tank with this amount of voxels here, but we don't have a name associated with the volume here. So what we're going to need to do is give this a name. So if we drop down a name, we're just going to assign it the name density. And we're going to write that in here. Now we can pull this name for rendering and all sorts of things. So you can see now we've got our density channel. All right, so now we want to give this some overall noise. So there's a bunch of ways to do these types of things in Houdini. One of the most efficient ways is we're going to throw down a volume bop. And we're just going to multiply a noise on top of our volume here. So if we just dive in here. Go to our volume VOP. All we want to do is throw down a turbulent noise. And we want to take the position of the volume, plug it into the position of the turbulence noise, and then we just need to multiply that back over the density here. So if we just throw down a multiply, plug that in there, and under the noise, let's throw that in input two. And you can see we're instantly multiplying our noise here. All right, so now we just need to change the noise settings of our turbulence. So instead of working down one level deeper, we want to just promote all these parameters so we can kind of change all these in our node up here. So to do that, let's go into our volume bop. First of all, I'm going to create a 3D noise. And I know that I want to use, there's all sorts of different noises you can use. But I know that I want to use the original Perlin noise. And we can kind of just get it in a similar, we can just kind of dial in a few attributes to make sure that we're getting somewhere close. We're going to need to take the frequency quite a bit down since the scale of our scene is quite high. So you can see that this is the volume that we're creating here. All right, so also in the amplitude, we're going to take this down quite a bit. All right, so we've kind of got an idea of what we're getting here. We can change some of the noises, play around with 
some of the different noise values. But really, this is just going to be a really, really light kind of wispy noise here. So let's try a lower amplitude, maybe 0 0.005. Okay, so promote all these parameters so it's one level higher. So I'm just going to turn this on a manual mode here. And then I'm going to click this side gear wheel here and just go promote parameter for all of these. So now if we go up to this level here, we've got all these parameters here. So now we can just change this a little easier. And let's promote the type of noise there. All right, so I've found that I'm going to use an original Perlin noise, slightly higher frequency. So you can see that we've got some nice clouds going on, and that's pretty much it. We can increase the roughness to get slightly more detail, as well as in the ISO offset uniform sampling divisions, that's going to give us more detail as well. We just want something really light. Maybe something like this for now. So you can see if we're kind of flying through space here, you kind of get an idea that there's some humidity going on. All right, so that's how we're going to create our atmosphere in our scene here. In the next lesson, we're going to create some more clouds off of the volcano itself.